Hi, this is Cheston with Buy the Books Consulting. And you know, I want to share this with you real quick because I'm working on a small, uh, quick fix for a client. You know, I already got into it a little bit and I figured while I'm doing it, I might as well share this tip with you. So I have a client that I work with. Uh, she uh, received a payment via check uh, from one of her clients. And um, she received their payment in QuickBooks directly to her checking account. Uh, so after that, she went down to the bank and made the deposit of the check along with the deposit of another uh, certain amount, which didn't really match up with the deposit in her bank fee with QuickBooks. So when she went ahead and uh, accepted the transaction through the bank fee, kind of messed up the, um, the amount of income, double report of the income that she received from uh, the project, the client that she had gotten the check from and, you know, really duplicated the transaction altogether. So things, in a nutshell, things just don't match up. And this is a problem that a lot of business owners, uh, they, they go through. Uh, if you don't understand, you know, how to receive payments um, via check, via cash, uh, things that don't get directly deposited into your account. And then when you go to the bank, they just don't match up. So the important understanding, the concept that you need to, to know about receiving payments via check, via cash, anything that's not directly linked to um, your bank account is to use that undeposited funds account to receive those payments so that you're able to easily and correctly match your deposits in QuickBooks to your, to your actual bank account. So here we go, I'm gonna share this with you real quick. So yeah, you know, what I've done already is I went in here and this was originally mapped to her checking account. And I went ahead and changed this to undeposited funds. This is the payment that she received from her customer. So I went, I went ahead and just changed the, the, the account that she received the payment to, to give a quick fix. The other thing I did was I went in and I reverse the acceptance of the transaction that she had earlier in her bank feed. So when she went down to the bank, she deposited an additional amount that showed up in the bank feed. <clears throat> and what she did was just try to match it to this received the payment and the extra amount that she deposited into the, the bank account. Let me click save and close here <clears throat> just to move forward with it. So I did that. Now I'm going to go back to the bank feed. And I want to show you what I mean. All right. So <clears throat> here's a deposit that she made. Now the payment was for thirty nine hundred nine ninety two eighty five uh, from her customer, but the total deposit you see is a thousand dollars more than what she received from her, her client, right? So in order to match this up to the bank feed, the best practice for you as a small business owner to, to relieve any, any type of problem like this in your books is to create the deposit in QuickBooks first so that you can go ahead and match it in your bank feed. And you do that by coming to the plus new icon. You come over to a bank deposit. Um, <clears throat> QuickBooks will already pull up that check that you received, the payment that you received from other uh, clients. You want to check that, right? And you want to enter into, um, you know, add funds from this deposit, whatever other amount that you have uh, to make that deposit. And in this case, I believe it was um, another thousand dollars that she had in here. It might have been five dollars less than that. I think it was uh, forty nine ninety nine twenty two. Let's go back and check, all right, to make sure that we have this correct. We're going to leave without saving. We're going to go back to the bank feed and make sure that we have, yeah. 49,992. So we're going to go back and create that deposit, knowing that that total deposit she made was 49,992. Check that. All right. And I'm going to go here and um, put the amount first before we actually put all the categories in there, just so I don't forget the number. There was um, 49,992. 
0.85. So we're going to take that away from the 39. We're going to take 39, 9, 39, 29, 85 away from that. All right. So this was the um, the additional amount that she deposited into her bank account outside of the check that she received from her, her customer, Commodore Transport. All right. So this is going to be received from, actually, this is going to actually be another category. She didn't receive the payment from anybody else. It wasn't another customer. Um, this was a, an owner contribution. So this is capital contribution. So we're going to put the owner investment in here. And we're going to have the total amount match up. See down here, now the total amount matches up with the bank deposit. We're going to kick save and close. Actually, and she has classes on here. I always make sure you choose a class. Now for her, I choose general business for situations like this. And yep, we're good to go here. I'm going to hit save and close. All right, so now look at that. We have the record found so that when we come to our bank fee, we can just match that deposit. And we don't have any duplication of income. We don't have any other problems associated with, you know, um, um, multiple transactions showing up like the same transaction that was already input into QuickBooks earlier. All right, so get to know how to use this undeposited funds account uh, to make your life easier as a business owner um, you can use this in any platform. It doesn't matter if you're using QuickBooks or anything else. Um, you can still use that undeposited fund feature to, to help manage when you receive cash or check payments. And then you're actually putting, putting other um, payments into that deposit, other funds into that deposit so that you can match up uh, with your bank feed and not cause any problems. Hopefully that makes sense. All right. Um, if you like the video, just click uh, like. Uh, if you need a, more clarity on it, you can comment below. But thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.